there was a man by the name of Yossi. Yosef, this Yosef, he woke up one morning with a very important business meeting on his mind. He had to get to work early. He came down to his car in Israel and he saw there's a big ticket on the front windshield. What's going on? Ticket? He sees, he got home late from a simcha the night before. He was a little protruding onto the, the wrong area. And he's very upset. He's burning 500 shekalim. That's my whole day's salary. Okay, what can I do? I have to get to work. He starts going to work. And he's going on his, his path. There's a one-lane highway for a very long time. And the guy in front of him is going five miles an hour. And he's honking him, and he's pressing the gun, but he's brighting him. And the guy's not moving. And he's, come on, I have to go. And he gets so agitated, he can't take it anymore. He goes out, he puts himself in danger and passes the man and goes back in the lane. And a second later, the sirens go off and the police pull him over. Officer, I can't, my job. He didn't care. He gave him a ticket for a thousand shekel. Now this man is really burning. He didn't even get to the office yet. He owes 1,500 shekel. He says, I have to keep calm. I have a meeting, the most important meeting of my life. Then he gets a phone call from the home that his aging father is staying at. They say, Yossi, your father's not eating today. You have to come. He's in danger. He has to eat. He won't eat. You have to get him to eat. He says, okay, I'll be there later. No, he needs to eat right now. Get over here right now. Shema Yisrael, my meeting's in a half hour. You want me to go all the way there? They hang up the phone. His boss comes in a minute later. I'm glad you're here, Yossi. We have a very important, it's the biggest meeting of your life. You're in charge. He doesn't know what to do. My father, my father. With anger, he slams the door and he says, I have to go. And he goes down to that home and he sees his father sitting on a chair in a garden and he yells, Dad, what are you doing to me? Just put the food in your mouth. What are you doing? Why are you not eating? How could you act like you're eating? You're making me miss my meeting all my time. Every... Why can't you just eat? His father couldn't believe the way his son was talking to him. He had a tear coming down his cheek. He said, it's okay, Yosef. I don't, I don't need you. I'll take care of it myself. Yosef said, where are you going? You got to eat here. Take this food. Put it in your mouth. And he's walking away. He comes back two minutes later and he hands his son Yosef a diary. He opens to a page and says, here, I want you to read this. He opens it up and it says, June 1971. Today, I missed my very important business meeting where I could have gained so much money because my little Yossi's ear was hurting and it was hurting so much he wanted to go to the doctor, and I, no one else was there to take him. I missed my meeting to take him to the doctor for his ear, and he needed a surgery that day. And as a result, I lost my promotion. But I would do anything for my precious son. That night, when he was in pain, I tried for an hour to feed him. He didn't want to eat. I kept telling him stories and hugging him every bite that he ate. He ate five bites. And then that night, he woke up eight times in pain. And every time he was crying, I went to his bed and I hugged him and I calmed him down and I put him back to sleep with a song each time. What was the song? Daddy loves you more than anything. Daddy loves you. Daddy will never let you down. My precious Yossi fell asleep while I held him so tight. Yossi had no idea what his father did for him. He thinks he's giving up for his father. He doesn't know what his father does. Kaviyachol. We start complaining, Hashem, what are you doing to me? Why are you giving me this? Why are you giving me that? Why is it so hard? If we would see the diary of Hashem about what he's doing for us, and my precious child, I love you so much. I can't wait to help you. All I do and do and do and do for you. But we don't know. We don't see it. We think there's harshness. We think it's all anger. It's all love. It's all love.